Hello you guys, this is Raspberry with some the crew beta gameplay and it's made by Ivory Coast and Ubisoft Reflections respectively known for Test Drive Unlimited and what is it called? Driver San Francisco and I could see big influences from those games on the crew like I could actually feel like mechanics from Test Drive Unlimited and the big maps that it offered and mechanics from driver san francisco but these are basically a few beta impressions that i'm going to give you guys and so far i am actually very very thoroughly impressed by what this game is offering i think it has a lot of potential in what's going to come in november 11th and we're going to start it off with like the graphics right now and to me the graphics they aren't that impressive but they still look pretty 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 nice and I've been seeing a lot of complaints from other people like on forums saying that the gameplay is capped at 30 frames a second frames a second and just to let you guys know you can unlock your frames and I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that in just a few seconds here but yeah it's really easy to unlock your frames and let's just get started with that alright so here's how you do your change here so what you want to do is click on that folder in the bottom left hand of the screen for Windows 8. You find My Documents. Uh, let's find it real quick. My Documents. Scroll all the way down to where it says The Crew. And click on that. Find this PC scalability. It's like a config file. Um, over here you'll see the FPS. Highlight it. It'll be 30 for you guys. I'll already change it to 60. So what you do is highlight it and just change it to 60 or 120. I recommend 60. Keep it nice and locked in at 60 frames a second. But yeah, this is basically how to uh, unlock the frames. So you're good to go. All right, so let's go back to the gameplay here. You can see that I'm in Detroit or what's supposed to be De Detroit. I, I don't know what it looks like really, but uh, it, I'm in Detroit doing a few introductory missions here. And as you can see, it is obviously an arcade game. It is not a simulation by any means whatsoever. But that does not mean that it's not a fun game. It's arcade games to me seem to be a lot of fun in their own ways. But a big thing, a big gripe against me is that the game's driving physics tends to be kind of floaty in the sense that your cars aren't too responsive and when they do respond they kind of like float around or like they tend to be a bit drifty like if you guys ever played Need for Speed Shift or Shift 2 you would know what kind of what I'm talking about even some driver San Francisco mechanics are pretty visible here like the floatiness behind the cars but it's not a big deal to me uh, it's still a fun game to play regardless regardless of that if if they could just like tone up the drive like make it make it a bit more sensitive make the cars a bit more nimble it'd be a lot better in my opinion but it's still no big deal it's still a lot of fun to drive and speaking of driving the area of where you could drive is basically infinite you could drive in the fields you could drive in the cities you could drive on top of containers and stuff like if you guys know like those Jim Connor videos you you could like basically do a lot of stunts in this game it's crazy and while you're like maybe driving across the United States you're gonna have all these like obstacles or like l random mini games and little challenges here here and there and you guys can win like actual parts and rank up in the leaderboard just like compare yourself against other other drivers and just have a good time I, that's what I like about this game is that when you drive from one place to another you don't know what kind of challenges are, are gonna come against you unless you've really memorized the map then that's no fun that, really that's no fun but apart from that like yeah seriously the amount of challenges in the game there they can get a monotonous at times like slaloming and jump challenges and then like obstacle breaking challenges uh, they can get a bit like repet repetitive because there's only a few challenges really right now in the game but the locations of these challenges make it a pretty pretty fun it makes it a lot of fun and it's it uh, kind of like drives you to yeah funny dri drives you to get to the top of the leaderboard or get that gold gold 510 yeah 510 symbol whatever that is I don't know 
510 symbol and get all those gold parts you get like max out your cars and get the best performance i haven't been able to try out like the online features yet maybe because i have no friends on uplay but i'm sure those guys who've actually have a friends list and everything i i'm pretty sure they're having a good time because they actually have other people to drive with but yeah those are some quick first impressions of the the crew and all in all if you guys didn't get my memo in the beginning of the video i actually love this game it's a really really fun arcade open world driving game i will definitely be looking at this in november i hope this gives you a good taste of what's gonna come in the next few months and i hope you guys are just as excited as i am about this game because i know i am extremely excited for when this comes out but anyways you guys if you guys have any other questions or anything about the gameplay that you see over here please feel free to ask me and i will get back to you as soon as i can but apart from that i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys later